Hi, my name is James Cousins, and in this video, I'm going to be talking to you about this barebone all-in-one designed and developed by Loop International in collaboration with Intel. This is an all-in-one specifically designed for SIs and OEMs to spec and configure exactly according to their customers' requirements. Not only is it very adaptable in the present, lending itself to the specifications that best meet the needs of your clients and customers, but it's also incredibly future-proofed and very upgradable later down the line, based around the Intel NUC Elements platform, something we'll be taking a lot more of a look at in today's video. But more on that later. For now, let's rewind a little bit, pop the desk on the table and unbox our all-in-one for the very first time. Inside the box, you'll find a couple of accessory boxes. This is the one we need to worry about today with our standard kettle to three pin UK power adapter and some additional mounting screws for the vase mount on the rear of this all-in-one. On the far right-hand side then, to me, you'll also see we've got the monitor stand base. This is not only a rotatable with a turntable on the bottom, but also actually fairly weighty, having to keep the all-in-one secure on a desk, a table, any sort of relevant work surface. Removing the top layer of foam further reveals the monitor stand arm. So you can see here, this is what we're going to, of course, secure into the base in a moment. And then the all-in-one itself. You'll see it comes with protective packaging. And straight off the bat, the 24-inch screen size is feeling great. Perfect for a lot of the environments this all-in-one is designed to live. The stand builds up nice and easily by slotting in and rotating 45 degrees to lock into place. Here you'll then see the mount where we can actually attach our all-in-one. This is the same size mount as a vase mount, so it's great to see that being thought of as well, depending on where exactly you'd like to mount this all-in-one. With the panel laid face down on the table, now's a great time to actually talk about the Intel NUC platform that this all-in-one has been developed with. Removing these rear screws reveals the upgradable aspect of this system. We're then able to use the pull tab to remove this metal rear panel and reveal the Intel NUC 11 compute element itself. For the purposes of this video, I'm also just gonna peel off the thermal pad on our Kingston one terabyte NVMe SSD. And you can see above this, we've got the Intel NUC 11 compute element. The Intel NUC elements platform and ecosystem is integral to the design of this all-in-one. It takes your CPU or processor, memory, main PCB, and wireless networking and integrates them all into a single unit. This all-in-one is designed around the U-Series, which encapsulates the i7 V Pro, i7, i5, i5 V Pro, i3, Pentium, and Celeron line of CPUs. You can choose the exact module with the right amount of power and memory for your use cases. Looking to place this in an educational setting, the i3 or the Pentium line might make more sense. Looking to pop this in an area with more sophisticated workloads, and the i7 lineup might make more sense for that use case. Not only does that make this very adaptable, you could buy a large number of units of this bare bones all in one and configure different portions of that batch with different amounts of power. Heck, you could even configure these as and when client demand sees fit, stopping you from having a range of lower end systems when people want units with more power and vice versa. It's also a huge benefit for the end users and organizations who go on to implement these systems at scale. It means that if the use case of the all-in-ones changes in their organization, they can service them without having to replace the whole units. Or if in five, six or seven years time, they're after a bit more power to keep up to date with the latest operating systems and system requirements, they can do so without wasting a perfectly good screen, chassis and stand. Fantastic for the environment and the pockets of those looking to procure these. But this modular platform doesn't just sound great on paper. It works in practice too, with a three-year product warranty from Intel for the board and compute elements, lower inventory costs for system integrators with support for just-in-time building, and custom solutions that allow for minimal R&D spend. All of the thermal, acoustic, and legal EMI testing has been carried out on these systems, and they're qualified for system integrators to simply and quickly select and add on the right compute element cards, storage, and load the OS. With an upgradable and serviceable M.2 slot, you can add in the right amount of NVMe storage for your client's use cases, and a hot swappable two and a half inch drive bay that supports both SATA SSDs and SATA hard drives of the right form factor allows the system to be really flexible. Alongside these great modular credentials, you also get an integrated silent power supply, great for powering the hardware in your system, and something which does add a level of security in a more open environment. You haven't got that big chunky power adapter, instead it's just a singular kettle lead, something much easier to replace if it gets damaged and helps with cable management, especially in a school or college environment where you might be deploying 20, 
30 or even more in a singular classroom environment. These use cases have really been thought through too, with a very ergonomic stand that allows for height, tilt, and full 360 adjustment, but also with the included cable clamp. This actually screws in and prevents tampering with cables. Of course, in a more private environment or an office space, someone may choose to use wireless peripherals, but in a school, college, or university particularly, having this cable clamp with non-removable cables is great for keeping maintenance costs low and looking after not only the system, but all the hardware that's associated. Up top of the device as well, you also get an integrated webcam, which pops up and down for security purposes, not only hiding the feed from the webcam, but also automatically disabling the dual mic technology included on the top. Really, really great to see this and a well thought out feature that could be very useful. Simple controls on the bottom of the panel allow you to increase the display settings, uh, turn on and off the system and also turn off just the display. This is fantastic for a classroom environment where a teacher may want the attention of all students and may want them to turn off the screens, but doesn't want the actual system itself to turn off, something which would waste a huge degree of time. It's really fantastic to see features like that very well thought out. Lifting the all-in-one up and spinning the stand around would allow us to get a closer look at the included IO on this system. Something which is a little bit harder when the stand base is installed, but we'll give it a good go anyway. Uh, here you get your USB hot swap drive bay, which is easily removed and includes a USB to USB adapter. Not only giving it that hot swap functionality, but also giving you access to another USB port if you didn't choose to use this. A further two USB 3 ports to the right and one just above give you plenty of USB connectivity, while an included RJ45 Ethernet jack allow for wired connections. Remember, great Wi-Fi is built in as standard too, so it's nice to have that degree of flexibility. A HDMI on the bottom also allows you to plug in a separate screen for dual monitor operation, while a further HDMI on the back of the unit allows you to use the monitor uh, as just a monitor and not an all-in-one. It's a HDMI in on this side and a HDMI out on the bottom. Over here as well, you'll also find the cable clamp we discussed earlier with varying different sizes, allowing you to run different ranges of cables. Peripheral cables, power cables will all fit and you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven independent channels. You then just pop the top plate over with the two screws and that will prevent the cable tampering we discussed earlier. A standard vase mount at the rear of the panel also gives you a great degree of flexibility as well, allowing you to warm out the panel, uh, particularly pop it on an ergonomic stand if you wanted to take it off a desk. It just gives you all the flexibility to mount the all-in-one exactly as you wish and gives your customers and clients lots and lots of options, something which is very important. You can also flip the device into portrait mode. I've just taken off the bottom uh, portion of the stand to make things easier uh, to see in general. All in all, this is a fantastic all-in-one chassis based around that Intel NUC Elements platform. It's modular, can easily be suited to meet the wide-ranging needs of various clients in various deployments. We're talking offices, hospitals, schools, colleges, libraries, and private settings. Very rarely before has one singular product been able to serve so many use cases quite so effectively. With an ergonomic stand, fantastic multimedia features, and of course the upgradability that gives your clients the peace of mind of future proofing and product life cycles is always great to see. Education specific features like turning off the display when you don't need uh, to use it, but want to keep the all-in-one active, support for dual monitor operation, or to use the all-in-one simply as a monitor itself are great to see. Wi-Fi, Ethernet, and support for hot swap drives, two and a half inch hard drives or SSDs, and a built-in serviceable NVMe are all great to see too. Plus with support for the Intel Compute Element lineup, you can go right from a Pentium all the way to an i3, i5, or i7 V Pro, really helping you to meet the exact needs of the people who'll be using these all-in-ones day in, day out. Thank you very much for tuning in. I've been James Cousins with Loop International in collaboration with Intel. Thank you for watching, and as always, we'll see you soon.